Hi guys, this is Greg at Best Trace Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the ITI Cargo Honor Line 8.5 by 24 enclosed car hauler. Shown here is in the 9,900 pound GVW. Uh, shown in the Silver Frost exterior, Vino's ramp door. Everything shown here is pretty much all going to be standard equipment. We do stock this in a few different colors white, silver, charcoal, and black. Let's take a walk around this unit, show you some of the standard features on it. So again, it is a Vino, it's got a nice clean look. It's got your anodized front. This has a two foot stone guard, not your, uh, not your uh, shorter 6, 12 or 18 inch. Uh, this is a tube tongue. Notice the steel on this has all been prepped. Got a nice gloss paint. Triple tube tongue, not your, uh, not your traditional A-frame. It's also got a zinc jack, not your uh, painted black. Fully sealed wire harness, dual prong connection. So it's got a standard seven pin plug, standard on most, most vehicles nowadays. Notice the wiring is all ran to a junction box and then to your breakaway. Okay, your breakaway batteries in the inside, that's important. Um, it just makes it nice. See some of it put the box in the outside, just kind of in your way. Again, everything is sealed molded. Of course, you got your breakaway. Uh, of course, you want to leave this plugged in. If you're not familiar, breakaway, you'd simply connect if the trailer disconnected the battery in the box there would lock your brakes up uh, it does have the sand foot on the bottom as well you don't got to worry about getting uh, getting it stuck down in sand and dirt and whatnot of course you've got your safety chains so it's got a two foot stone guard we do see some that cut them down a little bit to 12 or 18 inch okay this is a semi screwless gives it a nice clean appearance going down the sides you've got screws every four foot so this gives you the Security and knowing that your seams are screwed, but it gives a little bit uh, cleaner look than a fully seam side. One of the other things that I take note to on this, I like the bullet LED lights, give it a clean look, and then the three inch trim makes it look a little more complete. A lot of your trailers are going to have a one inch trim. Fenders on ITIs are also polished, gives it a little bit nicer look. Notice they use the um, gasket behind the fender on the trailer side there. So this is a six log wheel, so it's equipped with the optional 5,200 pound axles. We do recommend going with 52s on a uh, 24 foot trailer. Something like this empty is gonna weigh about 36, 3,700 pounds. To put it in perspective, there's a few people that can really justify uh, a trailer this size with 35s, but not very many. Uh, for instance, if this had 35s, which again, this one does not, that'd be like having a 24 foot utility trailer and then putting a car on it. Most people would say, I probably wouldn't do that. Well, that's essentially what you'd be doing. And then this also has a three-sided uh, uh, enclosure on top of that as well, enclosed walls and ceilings. So again, based on a 37-ish, roughly 100-pound empty weight, I uh, do most of these with 52s, but again, occasionally we do, um, do bring some of the more economic ones in with the 35s so when you go to 52s like this you're jumping up to a six log wheel uh 225 tire instead of a 205 with a load range d instead of a c so a d range would be an eight ply not a six uh probably the biggest difference is going to be your bearings inner bearings on these are a lot bigger uh same actual bearing as a 7k axle and actually the same brakes on a 5 6 and 7k axle so you get a lot of braking uh, when you jump up to the 10k gvw as well so on the exterior this is also an 030 skin uh, some of your more economic ones are going to be an 024 looks a little more uh, warped uh, this lays a little bit truer and smoother notice on the rear of the trailer it's got your bullet leds up top it's actually got a drip edge up there that kind of hides them a little bit uh, aluminum handle for your grab handle this also has made in usa flexco hardware I uh, like their hardware a lot better than the uh, the Chinese stuff. Same thing in the door. A um, little bit nicer hardware. It's got the thin strip uh, LED light. Gives it a nice clean look. It's got the aluminum grab handle. Also on these you'll see uh, four hinges. They all have grease zerts on them. And they are the wider hinges, not the mini uh, four inch or five inch hinges you occasionally see. Uh, generally those I would see more on the... Uh, the Georgia trailers where I see the mini hinges a um, couple things you'll notice one uh, plywood not OSB on these uh, a little bit nicer hinge uh, you'll notice a little bit wider and then the lags recess in so 
This trailer's an eight and a half foot wide. Uh, that's always measured to your widest point. Now your fenderettes are eight and a half. Your body of the trailer is about eight foot four. Your inside wall to wall needs gonna be about eight foot. Uh, then you've also got your measurements through the door. So six, six inside. Then you've got a, about a six inch header takes you to six foot. And then your beaver tail on these is gonna net you about four more inches of usable height. So your actual through the door measurement, which is what the average guy's looking for, it's about six foot four inches on the height is your usable through the door. Now as far as width, uh, your corner posts on these are generally going to be about five inches and then your spring cable you'll notice comes in another inch or so. So uh, net usable is about a foot less than the body. The body's eight four. Your usable between cables would be about seven four roughly. So again we said plywood floor three quarter and plywood walls would be three eighth. Now you notice uh, this has a little bit nicer uh, walls than what's in some trailers. A lot of them will use a Lawan strip that generally tends to peel off over time. Uh, this is a uh, aluminum H mold. This gives it a nice clean look. Uh, you also notice the the uh, trimmed out the top. So any wiring or whatnot for your dome lights and markers all going to be concealed. Now I like what they do with the wiring as well. So it comes straight off the tongue back that corner in a sealed harness and then comes up everything's junction box so you don't got to guess where your wiring's at and whatnot. So you've got an air intake front driver side corner and then you've got an air outtake rear passenger side. So it'll design for cross ventilation keep the trailer cooled down. You've also got four D-rings in this particular unit. So this door is an RV style side door you notice it's a foam filled door. It's got a lock you can uh, latch from the inside or the outside. So it's got a deadbolt from the inside and then it's got the, uh, the, uh, the uh, handle lock on the outside. Two dome lights are standard tied to a wall switch. You've got your residential style switch and you've got your front and rear dome light. It's inside this trailer is gonna be six foot six inside height standard. Notice on the roof there, it's a one piece aluminum roof. All tubular bows in the walls and the, the uh, side walls and the ceiling. Also notice they put a four foot wide um, sheet running down the center. And you've got your gasket, just helps quiet the trailer uh, down a little bit. Notice this is a dual spring assembly on the rear. So this is the silver frost color. Again, we do a charcoal, a little bit, uh, a little bit darker color, and then we do the white and black. This is shown in a 24. Also stock these in a 20 foot and in an eight and a half by 16. So the trailers, uh, 9,900 pound GVW, as mentioned earlier, about 36, 3,700 pounds empty, depending on how it's equipped. You have a net legal payload over 6,000 pound on this, and then you also pick up a little bit of tongue weight. Certainly ideal enough for hauling a car or a race car or even maybe a half ton truck uh, inside the, the track or for pleasure or personal. If you have any questions on this, feel free to check out our website at bestchoicetrailers.com or you can give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Thanks for looking.